Hi everyone, today we've got another explainer video looking at how the depot progesterone shot affects your fertility and ovulation. Thanks for joining me, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Ask Every Health. On our channel, we answer all your questions about women, sexual and family health issues and more, no matter how simple or challenging your questions are. So please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if this type of information interests you. The depot shot is one of the most effective birth control methods. Still, its effect on ovulation and fertility can be quite confusing to those who use it. So, as it's Friday, we are dealing with another viewer question. Hi doctor, I've been on the depot for the last five years, but my period doesn't come at all. If I remember, it only came once this year. The problem is, can I get pregnant? Because I've stopped taking the depot. I was to get it on the 13th. Still, I decided to stop because I wanted to receive my period before I continue. I don't need a baby right now. So the question is, having been on the depot for the last five years, not having regular periods, is pregnancy still possible? And because she's worried about this, she stopped the depot altogether. She's waiting to get a period before she decides what next to do, perhaps to use another birth control method since she's saying she doesn't want to get pregnant right now. Before we answer this question, let's consider what happens when you get your depot shot. While we've said it's an effective method in preventing pregnancy, about 94 to 99% effective. One of its major downsides is that once you've had the shot, it's in your system for the next 13 or 14 weeks. Unlike the pill, implant, the coil or patch, where if you take any of these and don't like your experience, they can be removed or you just stop taking them. Following the ejection, the drug remains in your system, gradually wearing out over the next few days or weeks until you're due for a new shot. Now, the main way the depot shot works is to temporarily suppress ovulation, that is the release of a mature egg from the ovary. This is an event that usually happens in most women at their mid-cycle. As a result of the depot effect, the ovaries stop releasing your eggs each cycle so the eggs go into a type of deliberate hibernation or sleeping mode until the effect of the hormone shots stops. Remember that apart from ovulation, progesterone can also affect your cervical mucus making it thicker and preventing sperm from traveling easily to fertilize the egg. Progesterone also makes the womb lining thinner so even if an egg manages to get itself released and fertilized, it can't find a nice comfortable cushy womb to implant and grow in. This is how the depot shot works. So back to what happens after you take the shot. After 13 weeks or so, depending on the brand of the shot you've taken, it's time for the next dose. If you don't get the next shot at the right time, your protection, your pregnancy protection is broken and you could fall pregnant. And this is true whether or not you see your periods. It also means that the depot shot is not able to permanently stop ovulation or fertility. However, the the time that each woman's fertility or ovulation returns after the shot varies widely amongst women. According to some studies on depot users where the level of progesterone in their blood was measured, many women already ovulate within six months after their last shot, last depot shot. However, some do so within two months, while for others it took them 12 months and more for their fertility to return. So for women who do not wish to get pregnant yet, if you stop the depot, start another method by the date the next depot shot was scheduled. Otherwise, you might find yourself unexpectedly pregnant. Some ladies who stop their depot shot talk about waiting for their periods to begin again first before getting pregnant. Well, the truth is you don't really need to do that. Sometimes you can ovulate without having periods. It's not often, but it can happen. And the last point to make around this is, even though we have studies that look at how soon fertility returns after your depot. We don't have studies that tell us whether the length of time you are on the depot or how many shots you've had could affect the delay in your fertility returning. We don't have those studies yet. So to our question this week, I'm not surprised you have no periods after five years and four depot shots per year. Really, your eggs have been resting all this while. They're still there. But rest. In that time, they've grown older, so the egg quality is not what it was five years ago. 
But this is because you've become older and not because of the depot injections. Now you've decided to stop depot, you need to start another birth control method if you are not yet ready for a baby. Otherwise, you could become fertile again from the time you stopped your depot shot injection. And that could be anything from within 2 to 12 months as the effect of the depot injection on your fertility reduces. Can you still get pregnant? Yes, of course, unless other problems outside the depot have cropped up. So while you're not ready yet, start thinking and planning for when you want to get pregnant and putting things in place. For example, keep a healthy weight with low fat and low carbohydrate meals, light on processed foods and saturated fat. Get exercise into your routine. This helps keeps your hormones nicely balanced and promotes fertility. Avoid smoking and alcohol because both of these affect the quality of your eggs. Consider using a quickly reversible method like combined pill or the progesterone only pill or the copper coil or implant until you're ready for pregnancy and lastly if you can and depending on your age freezing your eggs is an option to consider because life happens and sometimes we don't get pregnant at the time or age when we want to but by freezing our eggs they're available for us when we are ready to have the pregnancy with good quality eggs so that's all i've got for you on this topic and for this question i hope this reassures and clarifies to my depot users about their concerns with pregnancy and the effect of the depot on any future fertility let me know what you think in the meantime check out this playlist for more smart birth control options and i will see you in the comments